On July 18, 1843, an affluent farmer named Thomas Kinnear and his housekeeper, Nancy Montgomery, were found murdered in Kinnear's home on Young Street north of Major Mackenzie Drive. Kinnear's jealous stable hand, James McDermott, and Grace Marks, the 16-year-old maid, were identified as the murder suspects. Both of the accused were arrested soon after the murders and would be tried on November 3rd and 4th of 1843. McDermott was hanged on November 21st, 1843. However, Mark's sentence was commuted to life in prison due to her young age and gender. After serving 30 years at Kingston Penitentiary, Marx was pardoned and released in 1873 due to her deteriorating mental state. No records exist as to her whereabouts after 1873. There is much controversy surrounding the conviction of Marx as to whether she was instrumental in the two murders or if she was merely an innocent bystander. Numerous theories still exist today surrounding her mental state at the time. Was she pretending to have psychological problems to escape a prison sentence, or was she actually insane? Kinnear and Montgomery are buried in the Richmond Hill Presbyterian Church's cemetery. The story states that the couple was frowned upon by society because Nancy was also Kinnear's lover and was with child at the time of the murders. To demonstrate a mid-19th century society's judgment towards an unwed union, Kinnear and Montgomery are buried in unmarked graves at the cemetery with Montgomery positioned at the foot of Kinnear. This scandalous murder is depicted in Margaret Atwood's critically acclaimed novel Alias Grace, which became a Canadian Giller Prize winner in 1997. The novel tells the story of a fictitious doctor named Dr. Simon Jordan, who studies Grace Marks to uncover her true role in the 1843 murders. On February 21, 1997, Atwood presented a reading at the Richmond Hill Central Library to show her appreciation to the community for their research assistance. Atwood's novel is further celebrated at Alias Grace Park in Richmond Hill, located at Aladdin Crescent and Ridgestone Drive. The park was designed to explore and encourage the discovery of Canadian literature. We may never know what Grace Mark's true role in the killings were, however, one thing is for certain. The murder of Thomas Kinnear and Nancy Montgomery remains the most notorious in Richmond Hill's history.